figured out. Well, this is our camp. We are in Grand Portage, about to board the boat. Well, good morning there, fellow adventurers. Melissa here with Adventure Endeavor. Today, I'm going out on an adventure without Jesse, my husband, in case you are new to our channel. I am going to be getting on this Sea Hunter 2 boat and heading out to Isle Royale National Park in Michigan. We are in Grand Portage, about to board the boat. I am doing this trip with four of our friends. Jesse is back at the trailers watching all of our dogs, so thanks for the dog sitting. We're getting on the boat. We're doing a camping trip for the weekend on Isle Royale, and we are leaving from Grand Portage, uh, Minnesota. Had to remember which state we're in, and going to Windigo Harbor. rely upon, like cell phones, usually don't work, so it pays to play it safe. Fancy! We don't even need tents. This is what they consider camping at Isle Royal. This is pretty legit. Dang. Isle Royal is the least visited national park in the lower 48, but reservations book early. If you want to visit, you'll need to book a boat or seaplane well in advance. Campsites are first come, first serve by permit only, so don't lollygag when you get off the boat. There's a moose here, right across the river. He's fucking scared away. He's freaking big. It is a new day out here on Isle Royale. Today we are hiking out to Huggin' and Cove, which is supposed to be probably one of the coolest hikes on this side of the island. It's supposed to be an eight and a half mile loop, and I don't really know what's out there, but we're gonna see. You guys, I thought that that log up there was a moose. Do you see it? That totally faked me out. Okay, so we have the Adventure Endeavor camera. Here's Mike on his phone looking at our route. We don't really know what to say because it's not our deal. Somehow we got their camera. We're having a blast out here in Isle Royal. We have some swanky ass shelter I'm sure you'll see. Probably have lunch at the cove, I think, and go from there. Look at them. Try and get them down. I got him. <laughs> I got some candy. Was that fun? They're so much bigger than that. They're wow. So that was cute. crazy. Okay, so we made it back to camp. And we were just chilling, relaxing. It was a really long day, really good hike. Super exhausting. And um, one of our neighbors from the campground came by and said, Hey, we have a giant bull moose in our campsite. If you want to come check it out. We're like, yes, absolutely. Holy shit, this is crazy. This is what everyone hopes for when you come to Isle Royale. <laughs> That's fucking crazy.
so many moves on this island. It's crazy. This is the fourth one we've seen. After exploring Isle Royal for two days and witnessing many moose sightings, it was time to pack up our camp and head back to Windigo Harbor to catch our boat. Okay guys, this has been 48 hours on Isle Royale. We're just about to leave in another few hours waiting for our boat to come back and take us back to Grand Portage. This has been a really incredible experience and We've learned so much about the island and about this national park. The whole national park consists of the island and then um, a bunch of the water space expend extending into Lake Superior. The only way to get out to this island is by boat, like we did, or by seaplane, which would be a super cool experience. We stayed in Washington Creek Campground. It is the closest to the Windigo store and visitor center. Uh, the visitor center is cool. They have some ranger talks, like, you know, to teach you about all the different stuff um, that you can see here the moose and wolf study on the island is really fascinating that's probably one of the biggest reasons that people come here um, and it is the longest running predator prey study in the entire world it's been going since 1958 and it's super interesting because the island were any larger than it is it would be too big to effectively study the moose population and if it were any smaller it would be too small to support a wolf population wolves are the only natural predator for the moose so it's important to have wolves on the island and otherwise the beavers and the moose that both forage a lot and they do actually cause quite a bit of destruction of um, certain plants and trees. It might actually like overrun the island if they didn't have the wolves to, um, you know, keep them in check. We boarded the Sea Hunter 2. We are heading back to Grand Portage. Great weekend, guys. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Last little stop before we leave the Grand Portage area. We're going to see Pigeon Falls since we have no idea when we're going to be back up this close to the Canadian border. I'm doing it. <laughs> 